From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm John Kennedy. Poland's president is calling on members of NATO to raise defense spending to 3% of GDP to deter Russia's war in Ukraine from spreading. Andrzej Duda made comments while in Vancouver, a day ahead of a meeting with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Duda did not mention Canada by name, but says there are a lot of gaps in the West's industrial base to provide military aid for Ukraine in its defense against Russia. In 2022, Canada spent 1.2 percent of the GDP on its military and hasn't met NATO's spending requirement of 2 percent since 1990. Ottawa recently announced it would boost military spending to 1.76% of the GDP by 2030. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is urging de-escalation of tensions in the Middle East, though he stopped short of condemning Israel for a suspected retaliatory strike against Iran that Canada had counseled against. Trudeau says Canada condemns Iran's absolutely irresponsible missile attack on Israel over the weekend. And we need to move towards peace and stability in the region. Uh, we need de-escalation. We need not to escalate further. And that action by Iran uh, had uh, significant uh, dangers of seeing uh, far more escalations. He also called for more humanitarian aid to flow into the Gaza Strip and for the militant group Hamas to lay down its arms and release Israeli hostages. A full jury has been seated in former U.S. President Donald Trump's hush money trial. After lawyers spent days quizzing dozens of New Yorkers, a jury of 12 people and six alternates is in place. They're vowing to put their personal views aside and impartially judge whether Trump is guilty or not. Opening statements are expected next week. After the jury was seated... <laughs> Emergency crews responded to a park outside the courthouse where a person was on fire. People rushed over with a fire extinguisher and worked to bat away the flames before the person was taken away on a stretcher. No word on a condition. I'm Mike Hempen. A young killer whale calf trapped in a BC lagoon appears to be feeding well, eating chunks of seal meat thrown into the water as preparations continue for another rescue attempt. The initial attempt made last Friday saw teams try to corral the 700-kilogram orca so they could take her to parts of the open ocean, but they failed after she refused to leave the deeper portions of the lagoon. A video posted to social media shows the young female orca with distinctive pale skin taking two large chunks of meat, then diving below the surface. Members of the new Chatlet First Nation were seen in the video feeding the whale nearly 40 pounds of seal. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, NHL arenas are dark tonight before the playoffs kick off tomorrow. Toronto will be the first of four Canadian teams in action when they begin their first round series at the Bruins in Boston. The Winnipeg Jets and Vancouver Canucks will start their series on Sunday while the Edmonton Oilers get into action on Monday. The Toronto Blue Jays are in San Diego to start a three-game interleague series with the Padres. It's part of a seven-game road trip for the Jays, who are coming off a 6-3 and three homestand that improved their record to 10-9. and nine. Yariel Rodriguez goes to the mound for the Jays after impressing with his MLB start last week. The NBA play-in tournament concludes today with Miami hosting Chicago in the Eastern Conference, while New Orleans hosts Sacramento in the Western Conference tilt. The winners will get their conference's eighth playoff seed, while the losers are done for the year. First round playoff action begins tomorrow. From the Canadian Press, I'm John Kennedy. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.